Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Tisha. Today we're gonna to talk about what will I buy? So basically, in the spirit of the no buy, low buy thing that we're all trying to do at the beginning of the year, or not trying to do if you're not trying to do it, um, basically just reflecting on what we have and as you're seeing the new things come out, I thought it'd be good to take a pause, not a full on no buying ever, but a pause and say, what will I buy from all of the new stuff's coming out? So, um, one, two things. First, this is kind of in the spirit of the Will I Buy It series I've been watching for years. Samantha March, she is a content creator from the beauty community. Um, she does these every week and she talks about all the new makeup releases. Because just like for other communities, all these new Bath and Body Works and hygiene releases, there's a lot of content on that end with makeup. So much makeup that you basically, and makeup is similar to Bath and Body Works in the, in the terms that it will at some point expire right like there's only you have just one face just like you have just one body um or just one house for candles and so these are consumable products in terms of they will have a date where they're no longer good now obviously like fine fragrances candles they can last forever they don't go bad but they do change scent they do smell different over time so you just want to be mindful about what you're bringing into your collection just like you need to be mindful about makeup and some of us all, we all have different numbers in our heads of like too much, right? So I can't say like having five candles is too little when to someone five candles is plenty for a few months. You know, we're all different. What we consume is different. Um, so this series I'm gonna start doing once a month. And basically I just follow a lot of Instagram accounts and I started that wish list book. So once a week, I'm gonna allow myself to look through those accounts and put items on a wish list that are brand new coming out um if there's enough of an of a, a set of products where i'm like we have these i'm gonna make a different kind of video talking about like why buy it when you already have it or something like that but this is gonna be what will i buy so this is all of the different collections that have been coming out pretty much since candle day was the last time i did a wish list video so basically this particular set of things are going to be all of the candles body care that have come out since candle day and then up till now which is the beginning of january um i don't necessarily have like dates they'll be available if i do i insert them or i won't insert them i'll put them in the description box or i'll chat about them um but i will always leave the accounts that i used linked in my description box so most of the time it's life inside the page daily finds um sense galore there's a, quite a few so i'll leave them leave down i'll leave them linked down below so that you can check them out if you aren't already most of us are they have lots and lots of followers for good reason their information is legit and you get this, to see those products first and i think that's pretty awesome so let's just jump right in so i think the new floor set for spring valentine's day the first so like champagne collections is going to be around january 9th or 10th i've heard that SAS could end soon. There's just not enough stuff for a sale, which that should be going through January 16th, but I think it might end a week early or end up being not the focal point. We're gonna move into new spring stuff and just like there'll be some tables left where you can go pick through, but for the most part, nothing exciting to find. So I'm thinking around that January 9th or 10th is gonna be when we see the first like new stuff coming out. So I'm just gonna quickly go through what I'm looking at, each of the collections that have been shared. Is it a yes or is it a no or is it a maybe, basically. So I hope this is interesting. I will insert pictures here of anything that I have, but so let's get started. So the first item I've picked up already or I've exchanged for was sprinkled birthday cake. Now this is a part of the White Barn Core collection and this has notes of rainbow sprinkles, vanilla frosting and fluffy cake. And let me tell you, this smells just like Funfetti cupcakes, especially the batter. But I feel like, because again, I haven't burned yet, that's what it's going to smell like on burn as well. This I'm very excited about. I think there's a few more. I remember seeing a picture about like velvet, dark velvet oud or something um, and champagne margarita. Now, I'm very intrigued about champagne margarita because I've heard some that have gotten a chance to smell it in store say that it is a dupe for the Frosted Moscow Mule, which came out last year, which was one of my favorite candles of 20. I guess 2019 because I think it came out for candle day 20 or was it 2020 oh my gosh this is why I can't be that person that talks about like candle collections that came out because like basically after today everything that's happened to me in my life is all one big day so I don't remember if it came out in 2019 or 2020 probably 2020 
but I remember loving it so much. So if that's the case, I will be buying those backups or I won't be buying, I'll be exchanging for those because I don't think they'll make it to my no buy. They'll probably be gone out of stores before then. So both of those are a yes. So there's the next collection is the White Barn Neutrals, the solid colors. And they have like a two-tone, like a lid and just a plain jar. Um, there's a lot of repackages in there. The only two that I'm interested in picking up are uh, raspberry and with vanilla and the dark oud dark amber and oud now I don't know if I'll like the dark amber and oud what I've heard it smells like is like a men's soap which there are some that I really like they smell like a men's soap so not much a clone but more of like a soap but the res the raspberries and with vanilla I love the single wick and it smells just like unicorn unicorn sprinkles from like candle day a few years ago so I cannot wait to get my hands on that one I'll probably buy that one plus or my, I keep saying bye, but like right now I'm in an exchange mode because I have like 18 candles sitting over here that could go back. Oh, no one told me that that was all jacked up. Um, but after that, these are candles that I would consider buying for a sale. But the rest of the collection, I think I'm going to skip on. I'm really going to try to just focus for a little bit. Not always. I do have so many scents that are favorites. Um, I'm just something that's really a favorite or new that would interest me. Okay, so the next one is going to be Body Care. I'm really interested in these. This is the Champagne Brunch Body Care. It has pear creme brulee, peach prosecco macaron, whipped berry meringue, and bubbly rosé. Now, I have originally wanted to come out here and tell you that I was going to get minis in all of these, but the bottle styles are so cute that I do see myself at least picking up the full-size mist with my rewards in each of those four. Um, they just sound so good to me. Um, I've heard that berry, whipped berry meringue kind of smells like cotton candy clouds. Um, and that there was a peach Prosecco macaron that smelled like a candle that came out. I love bubbly rosé. Now I think that's going to be super close to champagne toast and body care. Um, but I think I need it. So I know I don't need any of this, but I think I need that. And then pear creme brulee, I do want to smell that one. So I'm going to go in store before I do even like an online haul for these with rewards. Um, or I think I'm going to anyways, just to smell that one, just to see. Um, I really loved that praline pear body care that came out like a long time ago. I think I still have like a travel lotion. It doesn't smell bad yet. So it's like pumpkin praline, no, it's pear praline something. I liked it. So I do plan to pick up at least the fragrance mist and all of those. So I can at least try them with my rewards. So that will be not something I plan to pick up every piece of, but if they have a really good body care sale, those do sound interesting. Now the next collection we're going to talk about is on the bright side color run. That is this, uh, candle collection here. It came out with almost all repackages. Actually, they are all repackages. There's not an original scent amongst the bunch. Um, this is Wildberry Jam Donut. I did do an exchange for this one as well as Banana Butt Cake, so I'm good on this set. I do not plan to get any of the other ones. There's Watermelon Lemonade, um, Iced Coconut Milk, Pink Punch, Pink Apple Punch. I think I have six Pink Apple Punch in my collection. So even though I think these colors are super cute, I am not picking up any more of them. I did exchange for these, but I only exchanged for these because there was nothing else in my store when I went in to do an exchange. So that is all I'm going to pick up from that collection. So the rest is a no. Um, okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is the Fresh Laundry Body Care. They're coming out with like a coconut and cotton and a white t-shirt and something else. I'm interested, but I wish that these, so far the pictures are not showing minis. I would pick up a mini and a few of these. So I may just pick up the Mist with Rewards, but I may not too. But, um, white t-shirt was one that I really wanted to get my hands on when it came out for a sass and I never saw it. Or I guess it was a test store candle test store body care that never had come out yet. So there was some of that floating around for a semi-annual sale and I never saw it. So I do want to smell that one. Um, but I think I might just pick up that Mr. Three reward. The rest I want to smell in person. And I really wish they had minis because I don't need full size and everything. I'm trying to pick up minis when I can. The next collection we're going to talk about is the Champagne Brunch Color Run. And yep, I want all three of these eventually, even the pink, lilac, and vanilla. The other two scents I've they just sound so intriguing to me. I love this jar. I would probably buy any repackages that came out in this jar style. I just love the colors. It looks like Willy Wonka to me. I don't know why, like it's champagne brunch vibes for everyone else, but for me, I'm like, this is like Willy Wonka vibes. So these three, I'm definitely gonna try. I'm probably just gonna grab for the collection because I think they're so beautiful. Um, 
and I'm probably just going to do exchanges as soon as they come out because I don't think I can wait. Now we're going to talk about the 2950 friends, the brunch champagne glass lid collection. Okay. Why did they put scents? I want all of these scents. I want the pink Prosecco frosting. I want the spring, uh, springtime in Paris and the toasted coconut eclair. Um, they're so beautiful. 2950, even if they do a 10 off sale, it's going to be 1950. I'm hoping you can exchange for these. If I'm being honest, I don't ever like plan like I'm not, I never went on TikTok and like emptied a candle in the garbage and like decided I was going to take it back for a free candle. But if they let us exchange for these, I want to try these so bad. And if the best sale they ever give us is $19.50, that's not going to be good enough for me. So I want to try these so bad for the scents. Not necessarily the jar, but the jar is stunning too. But yeah, that I feel shame to say, but I'm also not ashamed. If that's something that they allow for me to exchange for those candles, I'm going to exchange for those candles because they are so pretty and I want them so badly. I just don't want to pay $19.50 for them. Okay, let's just talk about something less less deep here. The Sanctuary Botanicals Collection. I think that's a pass for me. There's a couple in there. Like, I would love to smell the Sweet Peony Berry, but I'm not a floral girl, so I don't think I need any of those, and I have to say no to something, so I think that's a set I can say no to. But if I smell that and it smells amazing, I could see myself exchanging for one. But the rest of them, like, there was, like, a vetiver candle and a few others that um, I've heard are repackages. They're mostly floral, so I can say no. So I get, I have to pass on something. Okay, the Champagne Brunch Damask, which is just the Damask is the little print on the jar. That has like champagne toast. I really do want a Confetti Daydream. Um, so I'm hoping I can exchange for that one. But that's just because I've never had a Confetti Daydream candle and I do enjoy the body care. So I don't need Champagne Toast, so I'm gonna skip on that. But I do want that Confetti Daydream. Number 10, the 10th collection is the Sanctuary Luminaries. Um, I think I could probably skip on these until a sale. I don't, none of the scents so far intrigue me enough to like, I have to get them first. So I can be in a like second or third wave or wait till a sale or I, I am intrigued by a few, but I just, I don't need everything right away. So that I'm going to say is probably an eh, probably not. Okay. Now let's talk about some of these holiday sets that are coming out. First off, we see the Valentine's Day. Those are really cute. I love that little heart um, hand sanitizer. Um, but I really only have my eyes on the Positively Sweet Dark Chocolate Truffles candle. The other ones, like the Be Mine, those are all repackages. And I don't think I need them right now. On the bright side, the Murano, that is this collection with blueberry pie. I think it has raspberry tangerine, coconut lime verbena passion pineapple passion fruit um i got this one in an exchange i smelled the coconut lime verbena it was very light i love raspberry tangerine but i don't need it um there were a few though it was uh spring plum and blackberry and the sugar orange and vanilla those mm, this smells really good those sound really good to me and i could see myself getting those with this one but i don't think i need the entire collection so blueberry pie is a hit it smells so strong but I do get like a little bit of like the ice cranberry scone from this. And even like, I just, it just, I can smell other berries. I smell blueberry, but then I can, I'm like, but it's also kind of cranberry. It's also kind of like, I think this is just basically a little bit stronger of a version though, if I'm being honest, but I really like it. So I can see myself getting another one of those too. Okay. Um, there's going to be a core restage on all the aromatherapy. That's an easy pass for me. I don't do aromatherapy. Um, but I do think that the new jars are sleek, like the new body care that looks good. If that's your thing, I could see that being a really great sale for you to watch out for. But for me, I don't really get into any of that. So I'm going to pass on all the core aromatherapy restaging or repackaging they're going to do. Um, releasing on January 30th, they're going to do a black history candles as well as body care i think the packaging is awesome on this i really wish they would have gave some original scents however the coconut sandalwood candle i love the packaging i have to get that one um and also the the body care i want a piece of it i just want a piece of it for my collection um but i really wish they would have dug a little deeper to be honest and just come up with a unique scent for it. Um, they do that for Easter. Why not do that for Black History? So that will be, I think, a very popular collection. But like the body cares like Champagne Toast, um, Teakwood for men or women, but like 
basic scents. Um, the candles are champagne toast teakwood, like real basic scents. Like that really doesn't have anything to do with it. So I think the packaging is awesome. I just think they should have probably thought the scents out a little bit deeper, but I'm definitely gonna pick up that co coconut sandalwood candle for sure. And probably just a piece of the body here just to have it. Okay, so we are almost done. If you're still with me, thank you so much. You know how I can be. Um, the gingham redesign, skipping. I like gingham, okay, but I have a uh, fine fairness mist and I was really a big fan of gingham heart of gold more than gingham and I'm pretty excited about um, gingham love. I do plan to pick up at least a mist lotion and a shower gel because the notes don't sound like regular gingham or gingham heart of gold. I do want to try that one. So they do have minis in that one. So depending on this other stuff, if I pick it up, I might do minis, but I really love that one. So I could see myself needing full size. I keep saying needing, but you know what I'm saying? Wanting full size. Something I'm going to skip though is the a thousand wishes for you, the lunar new year. That's just a thousand Christmas wishes. When you read the notes, I don't like the packaging enough to get it. If you're really into the lunar new year though, maybe you'd want it. But for me, that's an easy, skip so that's a no another skip for me is going to be all the new faceted something that I'm changing and I might even get rid of some of it is I at first I liked the faceted collection it was all repackages though there's nothing new in it but um I don't think that packaging is all that for the price increase everything's going up a dollar um the shower gels are annoying to me because you, they're hard to squeeze in the shower and at a certain point almost everything else is easier to use than those faceted shower gels and the packaging comes off on them. Um, so I'm not getting some sunshine mimosa, the new packaging for strawberry pound cake. I mean, I may, if it's on sale at some point, like body care day or a body care sale for that $5.95, but I'm not using rewards on that stuff just to get it. I'm not collecting it anymore. Like I was getting every piece just to collect it. And then I realized I was re I was doubling and tripling up on some sense and I'm not buying body care just to have it sit on a shelf. So for me, the Sunshine Mimosa, the Champagne Toast, Strawberry Pound Cake, and I think it's Confetti Daydream, they're either new to the faceted or getting a repackage in the faceted. And I just see them continuing to do that. I think Champagne Toast is cuter in this like ombre look as well as the Confetti Daydream, but I already have it in faceted and in regular. So I'm not buying it. I'm not using rewards on it. Um, I'm done with the, what does Tina Marie call it? The face off collection. I'm done with the face off collection, y'all. I don't need it. So, um, yeah, actually that is the end of my list. So those are just some things that I'm going to look for to pick up with candle exchanges, the rest of my gift card money rewards. Um, but this is my wish list from now until it looks like a good part of February. And then we're going to start to see a lot of spring stuff come in. So of course I'll bring you another video in February talking about all the spring releases. By then we'll have a Trappist collection. We may have a Bake Shop collection. I'm not sure if the Champagne Brunch is our replacement for Bake Shop or if that's coming too. Not quite sure. So we will see. Um, but yeah, let me know down below if there's out of all these new items, are you skipping everything? Is there a few things that have made your list? Um, or are you wanting it all? Um, cause you know, I want to talk to all of those people. So thank you guys so much. And I will see you in a video very soon. Take care. Bye.